All right, greetings, everyone. Welcome to this vast public forum about 5G technology. 5G is the fifth generation of wireless data networks, and it will improve them far more than 4G or 3G ever could. This issue of 5G, because it actually has profound implications for climate change that have not generally been recognized, and I think that you are in a unique position to pay attention to that. A set of problems. Consider the health impacts uh, that are posed by 5G. It was a 19-year-old girl who was coming into my office with her mom, and at 13, she was diagnosed with a brain tumor after starting to have vomiting and extreme headaches. Have called the telecom industry a dog off the leash. And this is a reflection of the fact that governments throughout the world have failed to control them. That is plain simple. There's a lot of questions that are being raised by energy economists, and you see in this graph here, that the evolution of global energy consumption for digital devices is exponentially going to increase. It isn't safe, and you shouldn't have your cell phone anywhere near your um, growing baby. He who seeks after vanity with no love for humanity will fade away, fade away. He who seeks after material What is up, YouTube? Welcome back, and I hope you notice we're doing a little bit of uh, improvements around the channels. So a new intro, some new graphics and whatnot. Hope you enjoy it. But anyway, the Bermuda Advocates for Safe Technology. It's a adv advocacy group that formed in 2019, I believe. They are pushing an anti 5G agenda. And before anyone clicks off the video and starts writing angry comments, I came into this not being very receptive to their message up in shit posting a bit to be quite honest but after watching their town hall event a couple of days ago i have to admit they've changed my mind a bit not a hundred percent i'm not completely on board with the message but i see where they're coming from i do think some changes need to be made with how the regulatory authority is attempting to roll things out so let me explain my thoughts and what I did while I was watching the replay of it yesterday, I, I just wrote down a few bullet points, a few thoughts, right? And the first one was that I would have liked to have seen more local professionals represented. And I say that, it seemed like the uh, RA, the authority had, uh, the op were given an opportunity to send a representative. It seemed like that's what they were saying, but I don't really know what the story behind that was. Why? are so many people in the industry saying this technology is safe unfortunately we don't have strong representation or any representation that i'm aware of from the industry in bermuda but are any of the panelists that we have able to address that question all i can say is that i wish there were more local professionals they had a lot of um international people there uh or even bermudians that don't actually live here anymore and I would have liked to see more people that are like on the island, that are professionals in the industry, that have an opinion on both sides. I would have liked to see that better represented. And the reason is that um, I think you really need to live here in the current state in order to have uh, a valid opinion on a lot of the topics they were discussing. For example, Wired, the next point I have is Wired versus Wireless. They seem to be pushing this idea that we should, we should make better use of the uh, wired internet that we have currently, or even look to expand that. And the reason I highlight this, because anyone that lives here, especially someone that works for a telco company, they know that um, Bermuda's wired situation can be problematic, especially in residential areas, and not nearly as reliable as it is in other countries due in large part to the technical and environmental limitations that come with living on a tiny island in the middle of the Atlantic. Like my house, for example, um, I don't have true fiber optics running to my house, no. We have fiber that runs to the platform that serves the neighborhood, but 
to our actual houses. No, it's coax cable. It's it's the slow stuff. So what you get is sort of this pseudo uh, fiber optic broadband, but it's not true fiber optic broadband. You know, like I admit, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. I'm not an expert in wireless technology. I'm not an expert in you know um, internet infrastructure, but I'm just trying to explain why I would have liked to have seen more local representatives because I feel like they would have a better, um, they would have better insight, more useful insight into these sort of topics because maybe they can shed some real insight onto the difference between erecting a bunch of 5G towers around the island and improving on Bermuda's existing but flawed wired internet infrastructure. Oh, well, all that being said, you know, there was a lot of good information and you know i did some fact checking i did some background searches on some of the panelists that they hit there and they seem to be reputable people and the information they're given seems to be you know something that we should really take into consideration because one thing that i really do agree with is that you know bermuda's a small place right and there's no real need for us to rush to adopt these new technologies especially when they're not going to be fully utilized even in places like america and europe they're not going to be fully utilized for years and years and years so is there really a rush for us to adopt this i don't think so they're right on that and should we take every opportunity to do as much research as we can to make sure that we are implementing something that's going to be safe for the future i believe that 100 percent so in that way, I do agree with them. So just to wrap this up, like I said, I don't agree with them 100%. I think the event and the way they're going about spreading their message is a slightly flawed, but I do agree with certain key points of their message. And I do think that we should slow down. Like there's no rush to get this all approved by December. Like give it another year, give it another two years. Who cares? It's like, okay, you have a new phone that supports 5G. What do you really need it for? <laughs> you know, like nobody really needs to download anything on their phone that fast. 4G is fine. So use that while we verify that everything with 5G is safe. And then in the future, when we have all these new internet of things and all these new devices that are going to require a high speed wireless connection, then we can do that. You know? But yeah, that's just my quick, unfiltered thoughts. I, I didn't really, you know, plan this out or anything. So my thoughts are a little bit jumbled. And I know people are going to fact check me in the comments. But that's fine. But yeah, leave your comments down below. Leave your opinions. Like the video if you haven't already. And subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. It helps the channel to grow. But uh, until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.